Yo, hey guys, Quicks here, back another video. It's gonna be like a updated ore farming guide video. Um, someone in one of my comments said pretty good opinion uh, on like their strategy and how it could be better. So test it out and it's gonna show it to everyone else. So I'll put a uh, credit to them in the description and all that. But basically what's happening here is we're switching from the starting items of Markham's amulet and the pickaxe or Markham stone and the pickaxe to the dwarven hammer and lucky hat so you will need some more blueprints for this to actually work and so I'm just gonna go and roll the shop everything else can pretty much be the same you don't really need statues and all of that so I'm rolling for the rare items just to get uh, one of those two so if you don't have the town unlocked to the rare items I would say use the other method but we're gonna be rolling for one of them and then just taking whatever items. All right, so we got the lucky hat, so we'll just buy everything. Because if we do find the Markham's amulet during the run, or sorry, Markham's stone during the run, we want to get that increased ore bonus. Then we're going to craft the other one, so Dwarven Pickaxe. So we have it attuned and we have the lucky hat attuned just to get increased luck. So what this does is you have 100% damage under Construct, but we don't really care about that. And Constructs have a 20% chance to drop ore when killed. So when this is attuned, you're going to have two 20% chances. And then the luck is going to increase that 20% higher. So if we look at our character, we have eight luck. And then we can go to the fountain, use our normal ore preset, which we'll just go through real quick. General traps, safe corridors. Plentiful gifts, because uh, imps would be more ore. Potion charges, just to move faster. Monoliths, glass walk, treasure hunt. Offshore account. You don't want to use demolish spawner, because uh, that's going to be some extra ore now. Labs of consumables. Enemy reinforcements. It's not your lucky day. I uh, might actually take that off. Well, I actually heard this one's bugged. But you do want to take it is your lucky day, because you want the extra uh, luck just to get increased higher chance. Then I use relentless threats. Enemy overseers. Agile, Miner Strike, Dry Spring, Seal Cracks, Empty Pockets, Public Holiday, because we don't really need any of the items from those bosses. We're only going to be fighting two bosses. And I think this is still bugged, so we're going to try it out. So if this actually works, I should have 10, but if this is uh, bugged, I'll have 7, so I'll see. And they may change it at some point in the future to fix it. So yeah, I still have 10, so it is bugged. It's like free negative favor, so you can go either direction with that. Uh, as far as the chapel goes, I'm using the same thing, going Defender, Mana Regen, Lifesteal, and Divine Blast. If you don't have these bottom two, it's not a big deal. The Lifesteal is nice, uh, Divine Blast is whatever, and the Mana Regen is just needed for the charging. So since we're getting 100% Mana Regen, I'm going to take Smelly Old Man for even more. Since we're going for Ore, going to get Miner's Delight, get additional Ore gain. And I'm also going to use Fool's Aaron just to negate that uh, gold gain. You don't have to have this, you could just leave it off. And if you want to add some more things to it, you can go with the movement speed from on the run to minus out that extra gold gain. But uh, I don't feel like I need it. So I think it's going to be fast enough even without it. As far as statues, if you don't have the statues, it's not really a big deal. I would say Bolgarth is the, the best one. And then I have Kyra and Darien, which is doing nothing right now. So you can actually switch off of Darien. Uh, anything you like really it doesn't really matter in this case uh, we could do block we could do health things everything is kind of whatever faster skills uh, mana regen after we pick up crystals I guess that's maybe the best but really the statues are kind of low priority all right so we've set up everything for the run again it's just a lucky hat dwarven pickaxe luck from the fountain and then extra ore from the uh, the tavern. That's basically the gist of it. NG0, same as before, and you'll just need these extra blueprints for this to work. So what we're gonna do is we're going to focus on killing constructs. So we're in here and we see a construct where we're running for the portal, we'll just go ahead and kill it. And the first one dropped some ore, but the second one didn't. I wouldn't go out of my way for these, but if it's on the way to the portal, then by all means pick it up because it's just going to be a little bit of extra ore. So now we've skipped Act 1, going to Act 2. 
Gonna do the same thing here. If we see the constructs, we'll uh, kill it. See, we got some ore there. And you definitely want to pet for this. It'll help out a lot. Which, if you don't have a pet, you can use the other ore farming video. Get enough gold for the pet. It won't take you long at all. All right, in Act 3, we're not going to skip. We're actually going to go around and kill basically everything. Uh, there are these little bannermen that drop a little flag on the ground. And when you kill it, that's a construct. Or when you kill the bannermen, it drops a flag. And that thing is a construct. And that will drop ore for you. Or potentially. 20% chance times 2 with the extra luck as well. So you have a high chance of getting ore. So as you see, we're up to 44 ore. And there's another banner over there. So kill that, got some ore. So I'm just going around trying to kill all the bannermen and all the spawners because all of those are constructs. And we're going to go through all three floors like this. Grab the monolith, not a big deal. There's a different bannermen, but still a bannermen. Okay, so we should be done with this floor. We can go to the next one. And the Bannerman will leave like a buff under like some of the other enemies, so it's a little easier to tell like if there's a Bannerman, Bannerman over there or not. Yeah, you can see the little diamond shapes under people. Uh, you can also get lucky and see more imps that give you more gold and more uh, ore, so that can always help out your run. Uh, also, if you see some forges, you can craft a pickaxe or a Markham stone um, or maybe even an old map. Those would probably be the three I prioritize. You can get lucky with the transition places. The towers are also considered constructs, so you can get ore from them. I didn't kill the other one because it was out of range. And we should be done on this floor. Go to the third floor. And we're going to continue doing the same thing. But basically, if you see a forge, I would probably craft the pickaxe, or I'd craft the Markham Stone first, then the pickaxe, and then the old map, just to make the run faster, like in battlements. But it's possible that the uh, cube rooms, you'll find one of those three items, if not two or three. That would be an insane run, actually. The test run I did, I actually found all three of them. Well, let's see. I found one, and then there was two forges, so I was able to craft the other two. I also found an imp that gave me ore, so we'll see how much RNG I get in this run. But the last run was an actually, an actual insane run. All right, that should be all the bannermen, and the door is open, so we're gonna go through. So we're already at 146 ore here. You do have to kill an extra boss. So if you can't kill the boss, you can deposit here, and it has been how long? It's been three minutes for 146 ore. Three and a half minutes, I guess. So I have to do some math to see if that's better than the other thing we used to do. Probably better do the other one if you can't beat this boss, but you really should be able to if you're uh, NG1 or NG2 character. Uh, with all the upgrades, you shouldn't have any problem. So again, we're just kind of gonna uh, gonna charge through. But if there's a construct, we'll kill it. But I'm just looking for the portal. So those eye things are a construct. And again, I'm not going out of my way for it. So we're gonna skip this boss. And then the rest of the run is pretty similar to the other one. So we got Markham Stone there, and the cube itself is actually a construct. So now we don't have to worry about bannermen. I'm just going around killing uh, spawners, uh, looking for forges and imps. I mean, sometimes I have to kill stuff just to catch up, but you shouldn't have really any issues if you have a maxed out, like NG1 or 2 character. Maxed out being just all the upgrades from the town. 
you don't have to focus on gold as much until the later uh later parts battlements all right endless potential that's going to speed it up so monoliths are just always good because you either get the increased gold you get the uh basically infinite mana or you get um just like damage boost there might be something else that would be good to get but i'm focused on doing this run I'm trying to do it efficiently and talking at the same time it's a little uh a little difficult I also don't have a high rank charge right now. That's another thing. I have like a rank one charge. So it just makes it that much uh, like more mana efficient. So I'm actually gonna craft the pickaxe here for a hundred extra ore gain. And I want the old map, but I'm just gonna go with pickaxe. That's 10 ore, but that is going to, we're easily gonna make up that. Okay, I should have known that was a trap. I definitely saw it when I was down here. So I'm not worried about the towers that are kind of by themselves because you can't actually get to it to get the ore if you did kill it. So you don't have to even worry about those. Blood right doesn't do anything for me. And we're already up to 300 ore. Haven't even made it to battlements. So it's really gonna be about time, if time is gonna be more efficient. Rapid blows, sure. And it should be, it was from my previous test, but it's kind of a small sample size, just myself, but we'll see. Seems consistent enough. Now this is where I wish I had the old map. But it's kind of fine. It's like, this would be like the slowest run because you could get some crazy runs. All right, also you want to kill the, um, what are they even called? The bl ballistas that drop the arrows or that shoot the arrows because they drop ore. Because they are also constructs. So going around, trying to skip the rest. Just trying to see if I could see down there, but of course I can't. Just gonna have to go check it out. And glass walks, very good for this. You can skip. I'm going out of my way for a little bit of gold as well. Uh, since there's gold diamonds, I'll do this. If there wasn't, I'd probably skip it. Unless there was a war. But gold diamonds are just so much money. It went from 50k to 68k. You could probably skip all the diamonds except for the, the gold ones, honestly. Fortunate events. Or just let your pet pick up whatever they're going to pick up. Not even, like, worry about it. I got some ore off of that guy. So I'm just checking everywhere to kill all of these uh, ballistas, the turret things. And I guess it gives me a higher chance of getting uh, more imps. 
or any imps. We haven't seen any of this run. Last run, I saw like three. Again, if you have old map, you'll be able to see where all those turrets are. So you'll know if you even need to go over there or not. and potions just for more mana to uh, go that much faster. Uh, this should all connect. Yeah. Let's see what else we have in here. So we have some more turrets. We have some ore. Thank you, pet. Help me pick that up. We got that one too. So I am taking some like decent damage at times, so you gotta be just a little careful. But it shouldn't be that big of a deal. And it's going to be up to you if you want to do a thunder snow or not. I feel like it's probably not worth it. Um, you can do it just for fun, but I would probably deposit here if you want to turn that on. If you don't want to turn it on like I didn't this time, you could uh, you know, just go kill thunder snow. So right now, if you had it turned on, you would go send it back. And this run has been 11 minutes, which is pretty on par with the one before. It was like a 10 to... Um, 12 minute run. The last run I did was more on the 10 minute side because I had old map. But it is what it is. Every floor layout's going to be a little different. So we're bringing back 134 and 500. So let's see. Quick look. Uh, this run ended up being 12 minutes and we brought back 563 ore and 134k gold. Uh, so you can times this by five for the amount in hours. So it's like 2,500 an hour. A little more than that. But yeah, way better than our previous. And then that's without even the gold conversion. Gold conversion is what? Another 100 ore, 110, 20, 30, 40, 50. Yeah, we'll just say like 150 and you can use that to reroll. So um, yeah, that ended up being... 550, 700 ore per 12 minutes. And you can do that by five. That would be a 3,500 ore an hour. So a better way to farm ore. So anyway, I wanted to share that guy, shared that uh, strategy with y'all and kind of show it off. And yeah, uh, let me know if you want to see any other types of videos, like comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video.